Hello and welcome to the first of many installments of your video lecture here for Marketing 221 Principles of Marketing. I'm Ron Sicker for those of you that don't know me and I will be your instructor over the next 14 weeks. Now, as you know, this is a hybrid course. What that means is we are going to meet once per week. We are going to meet every Tuesday morning at 9.30 to 10.50. That will be our classroom time. To supplement that classroom, every week I'm going to do a video lecture like you see today. Those video lectures will cover one, sometimes two chapters. At the end of those video lectures, there will be some discussion questions that I'm going to want you guys to answer and turn them in to me on Tuesday. That will suffice. It tells me that you have watched the video lecture and that will suffice as attendance and homework which is going to be part of your grade. The video lectures will be posted on YouTube and the URL will be sent to you via email and the URLs will also be posted on Blackboard. I'm going to show you that, how that works here in just a minute when we go over the syllabus in the video lecture. So speaking of which, this video lecture really is going to contain two parts. The first part it's going to contain is we're going to go over the syllabus and we're going to go over everything that's on Blackboard. And that should take about 15 or 20 minutes. That way you will be familiar with the syllabus, you'll be familiar with the course materials which are already on Blackboard and Blackboard is already visible to you. And you'll be familiar with how the mechanics of the course and what I'm expecting of you and how you're being evaluated for a grade, etc. Then after that, We'll pause the video and you can take a look at any materials that you need to take a look at. And then after that, I'm going to go into chapter one. And I'm going to do chapter one uh, as a video lecture. There will be no video, uh, there will be no discussion questions after we do the syllabus and blackboard. But after we do chapter one, there'll be about four discussion questions. What I'm going to want you to do is I'm going to want you to. Uh, Answer those discussion questions. You know, give me a couple of sentences. You don't need to do a full paper or anything like that. Give me a couple sentences. Make sure you type it up and give it to me on Tuesday when we meet. Now, this is the first week of class. Because it's the first week of class, we're not meeting on Tuesday morning. The matriculation ceremony for the freshmen are, is Tuesday morning. So classes don't start really until Tuesday afternoon. So that means that instead of getting to know each other one-on-one -on -one the first week of class, I have to do this over a video lecture or through a video lecture. I know it's not optimal. I understand that uh, it's not the best way to start the, the semester, but there's not a whole lot I can do. When we get together the second week of classes on Tuesday, I will answer any questions that you have over the syllabus. I will answer any questions that you have over Blackboard. And then we will start on Chapter 2. So, again, I know it's not the most optimal thing to start out the week with a video lecture or start out the semester with a video lecture. But bear with me, it'll get better. If anybody has any questions, you can email me or you can text me. I'm going to give you my contact information on the syllabus and we're going to go over that in just a minute. But if you have any questions over any time between when you watch this video lecture and when we get together Tuesday of the second week, please text me, call me, or send me an email. Also, I have office hours and you can come to my office hours, drop in and just introduce yourself however you want to do that. So with that being said, let's go over the syllabus and let's go over Blackboard. And then after that, we'll pause the video and then we'll go over Chapter 1. Okay, so as I said in the introduction, this is going to be a two-part uh, video lecture. Let's start with Blackboard because I think that's the best way to start. And, and really kick off uh, what you need to know about what's expected to, of you, et cetera. The syllabus 
is right exactly here in Blackboard. If you open it up, you'll find that the syllabus is here. Just about every class, we're going to start with the syllabus to keep you guys um, up to date on where we are, what's due, etc. But just to let you know, the syllabus is here, and uh, we're going to talk about the syllabus in just a second. All of the course materials are right here. All the lecture materials that we're going to talk about all semester long are right under lecture materials here. Starting from chapter one all the way through chapter 19, including any supplemental material like elements of a successful presentation that we'll talk about throughout the semester. So all of the material that you're going to be responsible for is right here and ready to go. If you also, if you look at course materials, you'll look at and see online content. Every week you're going to have a video lecture, like the one you're watching right now. Those video lectures will be posted right here on the online content. So I will send you an email of the URL and you can click on the email and that will be your video lecture. If you don't get an email from me, if for some reason I forget or something like that, then you can find all of the video lectures under online content and course materials. Now, also, all of the case studies that are going to be due are right here under marketing case studies. Everything that we're going to do this semester, every case study we're going to do is simply right here. Now, they are not in chronological order. So that doesn't mean that Coke's the first one, McDonald's the second, Barclays, Gibling, Sprint, etc. is in chronological order. So make sure that you go to the appropriate case study that's due during that week. So all the case studies are right here. Also, if you go under course materials, you'll see the case presentation rubric. This case presentation rubric is how you're going to be graded on your oral case studies. I'm going to talk more about that when I talk about the syllabus in just a second or two. So other things that we're going to talk about are going to be posted under the course materials uh, tab, etc. Anything that you need to know is going to be there, but for now pay attention to your lecture materials, your online content, your case studies, and the case presentation rubric. Now, I'll be back in one second, and we're going to go over the syllabus. Okay, so now let's turn our attention to the syllabus. The first thing that you need to understand is we have class time only on Tuesdays from 9.30 to 10.50. We don't have class times on Thursdays. I know most uh, Tuesdays and Thursday classes meet twice. Because we're a hybrid class, we're only going to meet on Tuesdays. Again, we're going to supplement the rest with video lectures. Also, please pay attention to my office hours, 1.15 to 2.30 p.m. on Monday and Wednesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I've got 12.30 to 2.30, or also before class from 9 to 9.30. If those don't work out for you and you need to see me, please don't hesitate to uh, set up an appointment with me and I can be available at other times. The other thing I want you to understand is my cell phone number. The cell phone number you're going to need, there'll be times when you're going to be working on a case study on a Sunday with your group or something like that and you're going to have questions. So it's nice to have my cell phone number. You can text me. You can call me. If I'm available, I'll pick it up. If you want to text me, I'll call you back when I am available. Uh, a lot of people use my cell phone number just in case you're going to need me uh, in the off times that I am not at school, maybe on the weekends or in the evenings or something like that. This is the objectives of the uh, class. Pretty straightforward. Familiarize yourself with them. Okay, here's where the rubber meets the road. Here's what we're really looking for. These are the requirements that you are uh, you have for this semester, and this is how you're going to be evaluated, aka this is how you're going to be graded. You're going to be graded on two midterms. You're going to have midterm exam one, 
and a midterm exam too. You're also going to have a final examination. You're going to have two oral case presentations that you're going to do with your group. They're already on the syllabus. We're going to get into groups when we meet on Tuesday so that everybody has a group and so you'll know what cases are due. We're also going to do a class, an in case, uh, a class in case. So you, no, 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 a case in class. Boy, that was a tough one to say. We're going to do a case in class so you'll know what I'm looking for. So all of that is going to be done on Tuesday when we meet. We're going to put you into the groups and we're going to do a uh, uh, case in class so you know what I am, you, I'm, I'm looking for. Now, when your group is not presenting, when your group is not presenting, that means everybody else besides the group that's not presenting needs to do an individual case. In other words, you need to write up the case and you need to bullet what's um, some things on that case. We will go over that again on Tuesday, exactly what I'm looking for. That is 10% of your grade. It's simple, it's really easy to do. I'm just looking to make sure that you read the case and you understand it so you can discuss it in class. Very simple, very easy to do, make sure you do it. So there will be a case due every single week except for the first week, because we're not meeting the first week. Um, and I don't think there's one to do the second week either. But other than that, every week there will be a case due, and it'll be an individual case or a group case. More on that in just a minute. Now, with regards to your midterms, you're going to actually, each time you take a midterm, you're actually going to take two midterms. For midterm one, you're going to actually take two midterms. You're going to take the midterm individually, then you're going to take a different midterm, but the same level of difficulty with your group. And I'm going to average those together. So for midterm one, half the class is going to take midterm A, half the class is going to take midterm B individually. Then we're going to switch it around. Half the class that took midterm A is going to term, take midterm B and vice versa. And so you're going to have an individual grade and your group grade, and I'm going to average those together in order to give you a grade on that midterm. Group grades always pull you up, so it gives you the benefit of the doubt. Now, that's going to happen on midterm one, and it's going to happen on midterm two. On midterm one, your group grade for the, K, the test and your individual grade for the test is going to be averaged 50-50. Exam number two, midterm exam number two, same thing. You're going to take an individual and a group. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to average that 75 individual, 25 group. So 75% of your grade will be individual, 25 will be group. So the first one is 50-50. The second one is 75-25. Make sure you do well on the first exam. The final exam, which is 20% of your grade, it's all individual. There is no group grade for the final. So again, every time you take an exam, you're really going to take two, one individual and one group, and I'm going to average them together, either 50-50 or 75-25. Now, again, we're going to do a case in class so you know and I understand or what I expect, but Here's what I'm looking for for your oral or your group case studies. I want a PowerPoint presentation, no written. If you're presenting, there's nothing written. All your, your output is, is a PowerPoint presentation. I'm looking for background, what is the issue, what marketing topics relate to the issue, how are they related, how would you solve them, and how would you implement those suggestions. That's what I'm looking for for your group presentations. Now, for your individual cases, I'm looking for the same thing, only I want bullet points under each one of those. Again, come Tuesday when we meet, I will tell you exactly what I'm looking for, show you exactly what I'm looking for, so that you'll be very prepared when the first case is due. Textbook. The textbook that's required is Marketing, MKTG by Lamb, Hare, and McDaniel. 
I have on the syllabus marketing 12. You do not have to get marketing 12. You could get MKTG 11, you could get MKTG 10. It doesn't matter and they're easy to find. For instance, if you take a look here, for if you just go into Google and you type in MKTG, Lamb, Hair, and McDaniel, all of these things will come up. You are welcome to buy this for $18.30 from Barnes & Noble that's Marketing 11. Even though we're using the 12th edition, there's very little difference between the 12th edition and the 11th edition. So buy the 11th edition used anywhere on the internet. It'll save you about $200 and you're gonna get the same content. You need to buy the book. Most of the stuff, 75% of all the material on the test is gonna come from my lectures, but 25% is gonna come from the book. So if you don't buy the book, you don't read the book, the best you're gonna do is a 75 on every test, which isn't very good. Here's another one here. You can rent. You can you can rent it for twenty-four dollars. You can buy it uh, an ebook for thirty-two, or you can buy it for thirty-four. So if I were you, I would go right into Google. Again, go into Google. Type in uh, MKTG with Hair Lamb and McDaniel, and you will find uh, the eleventh issue very very inexpensively. That's what I suggest you do. All right, in one minute, I'll get back to the syllabus. Okay, so we've talked about how you're being evaluated. We've talked about the textbook. We've talked about the group case studies. We've talked about the individual case studies. Seems pretty straightforward. Let me just go over a couple more things in the syllabus and then we'll be done. And then the second part of this video lecture will be uh, lecturing on chapter one. Okay, so first thing I want you to call your attention to is the yellow that you see right here. Um, I do not tolerate cell phones when I'm talking. Um, when we are doing some type of a group exercise and if your group is done before everybody else and I'm not talking, you're welcome to put out, pull out your cell phone and text or Snapchat or do whatever you wanna do. But when I'm talking, cell phones must be put away. Sometimes I will say, get out your cell phones and Google this. That's, you're welcome to do that. Um, and in some cases, I'll say, get out your cell phones and record what I'm about to say. You'll do that also. But for the most part, I do not want to see you texting or doing anything on your cell phone. If I find you doing that, you will get one letter grade reduction of what you deserve. So at the end of the semester, if you deserve a B, you get a C. If you deserve a C, you get a D etc etc so please keep your cell phones off the desk and in your pocket or in your backpack or whatever you want to do um, academic honesty etc i don't think i need to talk about that okay so here is the course structure and the course um agenda so to speak this week the only thing that's or excuse me this week you've got your video lecture um, which is going to be chapter one of the syllabus, which you're watching right now. The only thing that's due this week is you're, there's going to be three or four discussion questions after the chapter one lecture. Turn those in to me on Tuesday. It should take you about five minutes to do them. A couple of sentences per um, question. Turn them in. Let me know you watch the video. We're all good. Next week, we are going to answer any questions on the syllabus. We are going to do chapter two, and we are going to do an in-class case study so you know exactly what I'm looking for. And then after that, group one will do Barclays, and they will present that out. Group two will present out Giveling. Group three, Sprint. Group four, Starbucks, etc., etc. We will get into groups on Tuesday when we are together so that we know who's going to be group one, group two, group three, group four. Again, Barclays, Givling, Sprint, Starbucks, Square, Lancome, and St. Jude's, all of those are on Blackboard. They're already posted. We will split you up into groups. Don't worry if you're group one. I know it's your first case study, but I'm usually very liberal and very easy grader for the first case study. 
and then I start raising my expectations from there. Our first midterm is at the end of September, which is October 1st, which will uh, covers chapter one through seven with no chapter four involved. And again, that midterm, you will take a group midterm as well as an individual midterm, and I will um, average that out 50-50. We will review for the midterm on the 24th of September. That pretty much takes care of our syllabus. Uh, I will be back in a moment with chapter one and the chapter one uh, lecture. It shouldn't take that much too, too long, but it is important because it will be covered on the test. So with that, I shall be right back with chapter one.